Hey, everybody. There's a lot of bad news going on, but I wanted to do a news story that really touched my heart about this young woman in Cal. Well, I think she's from Florida, but she was in California, and I want everybody to pay attention to this and also pray for her. But I do need to say at the beginning, YouTube took down another video of mine from almost four years ago. It was December 21st of 2020. And they said it was medical misinformation when I wasn't even really talking about anything in particular that, but they, artificial intelligence flagged it. They denied my appeal. So I'm just saying, hey, YouTube, please do not give me a problem with this video because this is a story not AI. This is not about the COVID vaccine. This is about a woman who got three other vaccines and the vaccine injuries, apparently, that she is saying that she has received within 10 minutes of getting these three vaccines. So hopefully YouTube will not flag this as being a problem. Hey, everybody. Jesus is Lord, which we're not allowed to say, it seems, on a lot of um, social media. But I've been doing videos for over seven years since... Um, I had my first dream about the rapture and persecution for Christians. And I'm not saying this story is about a Christian woman, but this is about a woman with a rare disease that claims she's now blind and bruised after doctors made her get three vaccines. The three vaccines are not the COVID vaccine. Okay. So there should be no reason that this should be violating community guidelines. It's a story in the New York Post. It's also in other places. So let's hear what has happened to this poor young woman named Alexis. They gave me a vaccine. And I started having these symptoms and reacting extremely bad. I went blind in both eyes. My throat had a lump on it. I heard nosebleeds, I was throwing up a bunch, and they're trying to tell me it's not from the vaccine, and clearly it is. And so I have friends that are blind, so I wanted to read this. It says that after doctors required her to take pneumonia, tetanus, and meningitis vaccines, before receiving a transfusion for a treatment for an autoimmune disease. So she is 23 years old. She's from Florida, but she was in in um, California, and she has a autoimmune disease, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. It's PNH. She was diagnosed in January. And in the past, she is not... Because of religious reasons, I don't know what her religion is, but it said that in, she had religious reasons why she had she and her family had not um, gotten vaccinated for your normal things. However, the meningitis vaccine, um, like I know that it came out around the time that my daughters, my twin daughters, were entering college, and they opted not to take the meningitis vaccine. You know, it was a choice, just like they opted not to take. um, There was a vaccine for preventing uh, cervical cancer. And they're like, no, we're not going to take it because they knew that they weren't going to be sexually active. And cervical cancer is most often caused by having multiple sex partners. Anyway, so back to the story an extremely rare autoimmune condition where the body attacks its own red blood cells. Other videos posted by her father on TikTok show Lorenz with her eyes swollen shut. I think it doesn't, um, I think the sound is not balanced when I'm playing the video, but it says doctors told the Daily Mail that although it was unlikely the ingredients of the vaccines were to blame for the extreme reaction.
that it was asking for trouble to give Lorenza the vaccines all at once, giving her immune-related illness. Come on, y'all. Doesn't this just break your heart to see this young woman? According to the Countermeasures Injury Compensation Program, CICP, almost 14,000 people have reported vaccine injuries since 2010. So this is a report from Fox 11, Los Angeles. California woman 23 suffers life-threatening reaction after hospital allegedly required vaccines. You know, I used to, my dog and I, we used to do um, hospital therapy visits for about five and a half years. And we would go to the children's hospital too. Now, of course, this woman is an adult. But, you know, this just breaks my heart as a Christian. It really does. It is absolutely the worst thing I've ever been through. 23-year-old Alexis Lorenz has been sharing her excruciatingly painful health struggle on social media. I fell asleep and woke up like this. And all I want to do is sit down and just be with myself. On September 10th, Alexis was admitted to UCI Medical Center in Orange for treatment of PNH, a rare blood disorder. What they expressed to me was that in order to um, get treatment for her pre-existing condition, um, she needed to be vaccinated uh, in order to continue treatment. And if she didn't um, abide by getting the vaccinations, they would have to let her go home. For religious reasons, Alexis and her family have lived most of their lives without vaccinations. But when faced with the possibility of receiving no treatment for her condition, Alexis says she ultimately agreed to the hospital's requirement of receiving three vaccines, meningitis, pneumonia, and tetanus. Within 10 minutes, she had an extreme adverse reaction. This is not okay. Please, please share this video. Please spread this. Please show what they're doing to me, please. It's quite obvious that she wasn't breaking out in, in any type of rash or anything previous to getting the three shots. She um, lost vision in both eyes. She started bleeding out of her nose. She started vomiting. And then these purple um, patches under her skin started appearing at the top of her head and then just started spreading. And it's now covering pretty much all of her body. Alexis gave UCI Medical Center permission to release her records and discuss her case with Fox 11 News. But despite repeated calls and emails, UCI Media Relations has not responded. I feel like she deserves so much better than what she's gotten. Samantha Lorenz has been by her sister's side the entire time. She alleges hospital staff were slow to address the adverse reaction. She started getting all of these, like, it kind of looked like pit bulls at first, but she was completely clean-faced. And then within the night, it progressed so badly but they did absolutely nothing about it. They should have started treating her right away. They should have started helping her right away. I'm beyond scared, and everything on my body hurts. Alexis is slowly getting better. She has regained vision in both eyes. I have been told it could take several weeks before she is well enough to be released. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, you know, YouTube, we're not allowed to pray for people that are sick. I don't know, but I'm going to pray for this girl. This is really sad. And really, why did they choose those particular vaccines to give her? You know, she's going in for her condition. And then it's a rare life-threatening blood disorder why would they even choose that she needed to, you know, it's like you're going in for something you've just been diagnosed in January as to having, and they refuse to treat her unless she gets those particular three vaccines. It's extremely strange, but California is beyond weird.
For religious reasons, Alexis and her family had long abstained from vaccines. They're allowed to do that, aren't they? Don't we live in America where there's freedom of religion, like there's freedom of speech? I thought that was supposed to be the way America was supposed to be. I thought that was our constitutional right. Faced with the difficult choice between risking her health condition or agreeing to receive multiple vaccines, Alexis reluctantly accepted. She says that within minutes of receiving vaccines for meningitis, pneumonia, and tetanus, like, I mean, it, it just seems so incredibly stupid, beyond stupid, why she would need that when that wasn't, I mean, in fact, when you, you know, it's up to you what you're going to do. I don't take these things myself as the last uh, few years have determined, you know, the Lord leads me. But normally when you were to take uh, shots back in the day, you were supposed to be feeling good when you took these shots, right? (laughs) You didn't take them when you were feeling bad. You know, you back in the day when you were going to take a flu shot, you had to like read all this paperwork and you had to sign it and say, yes, I'm not allergic to eggs, not, uh, you know, I'm feeling good today. And all of this stuff, you had to sign it off, this paperwork, before you even took a flu shot. Something is very fishy about this to me. She began extreme, experiencing extreme adverse reactions, leaving her battling for her life. From losing vision in both eyes to severe internal bleeding and painful purple patches spreading across her body, Alexis's condition rapidly deteriorated. Her family, devastated and frustrated, claims hospital staff delayed treatment for her adverse reaction, further compounding her suffering. I'm beyond scared and everything in my body hurts, Alexis shares through tears in her videos, pleading for support. Alexis permitted UCI Medical Center to release her medical records and discuss her case with Fox 11. However, UCI Media Relations has not responded despite repeated calls and emails. So for my viewers, let's pray for her. Father God, I ask in Jesus' name that you would heal her. Have a miraculous healing in Jesus' name. And I pray that her family will uh, be comforted. I don't have any idea what her religion is, Lord, but I I know that you know her. And I know that, um, I know, you know, my dog's name was Lexi. And I know that Alexis, Lexi, it means defender of mankind. And you, Jesus Christ, are the defender of mankind. You know every hair on her head? You know what's going on with her body? And I pray that you would heal her and give her comfort and that every pain in her body would be removed miraculously in Jesus' name. Father, we trust you. We know that you make every person a human being, you knit them together in our mother's womb that you knew us from the moment of our conception. And I just pray that uh, you would do something for this family, do something for Alexis's sister too, Lord, that you would bring them to a saving knowledge of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. We thank you. We ask that you send Jesus to come and rescue us soon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.